Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at vault -Tec have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Today, we will focus on strength. In the wasteland, essential supplies will be scarce. When an item of value is... Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 4 stream. I forgot what game I was playing then. Oh dear. Right. Oh, how's everyone doing? Do 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 do. I want to hand that in first. Not going to go and talk to him. Hello. Right, let's. Can I put this down? You piss off. Mind where you point that thing. Don't seem to be too interested. Uh I don't have one to Grey Garden. I'm not doing that. Mechanist doesn't matter. I can't remember if I've got one there. That one doesn't matter. Neither does that. So if we get one to look at Tappington, King's Sport, Green Top. That's one. Cool. Three, four. No nope, crap. Let's go and do normal robo brain.
Sounds like someone wants to do some trading. I don't. Give this hollow type to Okay. Well, it's definitely not me. Tell the railroad we well, I don't think so. Oh, you are. you go. <laughs> there must be nice to have that kind of power. Uh, why not? Ain't doing them any good.
Why with all these like uh, nuclear world raiders wandering around everywhere? It shouldn't take me all that long to level up. <laughs> so it wasn't gracious and say, oh, and let the employee go home early. He could have said, no, I'll, let you, I'll let you go, I'll stay here. something down here. Cheeky bastard. It says, BAM! Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> right, we don't want to go that way, because we don't want to start the battle yet. Bam. Bam Margera. Skateboarder. And did star in the first few Jackass films. I haven't for a long time, to be honest. Well, that's probably where people would know the name from, what, other than skateboarding. So let's just move along.
if you decide to do them. So there's a possibility you you could. <laughs> I've never watched Bake Off or had any intention of watching it. See if she had anything. I can do that. <laughs> I've given you something to do, my video. Hoping Ingram is Yeah, doesn't look like she's on the Pridwin, so Well I have a calm stream all the time. I do have other things to do. Admittedly not many other things to do. I came across a holotape with a full scan of the Institute's network. Thanks. You know, it's good to see you're still in one piece. I wasn't sure what the Interceptor would do to you. I wasn't worried. After all, I built the device myself. I have confidence in everything <laughs> I built, too. But that's because I'll only deal with technology that I understand. Speaking of technology I don't understand, I'll get this holotape to Proctor Quinlan. I'm dying to find out what's on it. Hopefully, it'll reveal a weakness in their defenses. That would be the best case scenario. Before we jump to conclusions, let's see what Quinlan's scribes can get off of it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the Institute has all of their data heavily encrypted, so it's gonna take some time to crack. After that, we'll have to see what we've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. In the meantime, 
Your mission to recruit Dr. Lee still needs to be completed. I believe Elder Maxon gave you all of the details. Good luck, Knight. All right, let's go to Bunker Hill. This is where the fun is going to start. Because everyone is friendly with me. Now, oh, bollocks. I have done a few uh, things like that, but not for a while. Can we get through? Oh, come on, I've got to go there! Bastard. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, yeah. The line at the car wash? Super long. Took me forever. Your attempt at humor is wasted. Our targets are inside. Four cents oh. under railroad Everyone in this compound is friendly towards me. Involved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in, secure the sense, and I relay out with them back to the institute. Clear? The mission's parameters just changed. We go in shooting. Requesting backup relay now. Every <laughs> all that. I think for most of it will go. I can just walk through and no one shoots me. Glory. 
Nope, everyone's still friendly. Here we go. Now, shite. Make it quick, will you? Have a look there. Uh, uh, you might not be able to have anything. No. Still friendly with me. Uh, bloody Latin hands rolling pin. Base fifty. That was worth it. Hey, you're just going to leave it. Grab that. Get that. I'll be happy to carry any spirits you got. Of course, I can't promise you'll get them back. Alright, if we go to... Incoming! Your termination is inevitable. Bollocks! Hear my target, they return. I will be ready. Is someone present? I am detecting stealth. Activity. I think a Commonwealth. See, everyone likes me. No, I honestly can't remember what I said that would... You there. Here they Sent. are. God, Come it's on, a course, please. Sir. Just... just don't. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta 93 Stratus. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code beta 77 Tempest. Because I'm on good terms with all the factions. The Institute, the Brotherhood. All right, Synth. Please. And the Railroad. C322, initiate reset. Authorization code gamma 49 Typhoon. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta 62 Arcus. That's all of them. Objective complete. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return and. Good work. Did I loot your cup? No, I didn't. That's got a recon scope on it.
Hi. Scanning. Unknown identity. Clearance. Confirmed. Just because I can. Everyone loves me. This is why I put in the title playing all sides. That's gone straight over my head. No idea. We should remember this place. This spot for right, where's What's the face? Kesla. Bunker Hill is ours. Oh, where's Kesla? That's Deb. Where'd you go? I'll wager this place was built. <laughs> Raiders will think twice about the double cross after what you did at the prep school. I know about the TV show. Now he's like. I don't see anything. I think we're okay. Uh, the first thing my mind went to. But I've never watched it. I mean, you appear from. And there's the person looking after you. <laughs> oh, cricket! Don't I the Brahmin? Cricket. Better buy my big guns now, because you bet your ass your enemies will. Sure. Let's take a look. Just think how damn good it'll feel holding one of these. I just want your fifty cow. You can have mine and then. <laughs> All right, ten mil rounds. Uh, what's the difference at eighty two? All of your money. 
Many, many, many. Identity confirmed. This you. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Wait, no, there's some water there. Not what's the Big Bang Theory in either. I'm boring. Hello? Gonna uh, splatter your profile sensor reading detected. Attacking enemy. I was testing my other side, didn't I? Yo, future! No future for you! God save the queen! She ain't no human being! We love our queen! God says. Ah, face me, you coward! I'm coming. Ah. There we go. And you did. They, they say we're the future, and it always comes into my head. Nice. Did I? Take your word for it. I'm tired. I'm old. I've got a bad brain. I need to get down, don't I? No idea. Sean? 
You know, in all my years, I've Bye. never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here. I said, I was right then. I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice for 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source <laughs> of war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It oh, only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no yeah, expectations that right. you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Why let me out now? After all this time? That's... Well, that's hard to explain. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you, as it has everything else? Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me, would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. This is science to you. It's pathetic. All of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. Perhaps in time you'll see it differently. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. No, no, no. The Courser could have handled it on his own. It was a waste of my time. I disagree. It's important that you understand the work that is necessary to maintain the Institute. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. No, we're not uh, doing that. We're going over to the big fly airship. I'm not even going to risk. No future. Ow, bottle took them to my coffee.
anything? Nope. I go in there, but there's absolutely nothing. I'm going to speak to Kesla. Oh, this isn't the way I wanted to go. Okay, I don't think the super mutants have come back. Again, I have no idea what I just said. Bunker Hill is like a home away from home. Hey there. The only place caravan folk have to mingle together, you know? Listen, Bunker Hill doesn't want any trouble. You have some seriously powerful friends. Oh. So keep us on their good side. Consider yourself to have the run of the place. And the next time you need something, just ask, all right? Hey. Can't believe Kessler keeps this town. Between the caravan bosses and the raid. Not gonna scrap everything. <laughs> I can scrap the safe now. Right, uh No, oh, you ain't gonna stick that in my head now. Oh that buddy, bam blam. Ding dong wow, bam bam. No, nothing close to the steel in there. Oh, what? Ooh. <laughs> Actually, there's a proper bed here, isn't there? Right. Let's get 
to the Pridwin. I do need to take a trip down to uh, Virgil's cave at some point. Busy right now, Knight, and you have a mission to complete for Elder Maxon. I suggest you get back to work. Miserable cow. Longfellow, you bell ends. The human looks to set so the I received word that Dr. Lee is returning to us. How cooperative do you think she'll be? I think she's confused right now. Hmm. No matter. Given the proper motivation. I'm certain she can be persuaded to see things our way. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. She's been under the Institute's influence for the last decade, and we can't afford to take any chances. Now, on to other matters. Thanks to the success of your reconnaissance efforts, it's time to advance our operations to the next phase. I want you to report to Proctor Ingram at the airport. She has a special project that requires... I'm trying to get... Uh, there's not really again, much side quest you don't stuff. Fail to impress. For me, this for me to do, to be honest. Oh, that's the wrong button. Excuse me, Elder Maxon. Liberty Prime is the linchpin of our operation. Make certain you follow Ingram's orders to the letter. Why have you got buff out? Delta Elder. sequence initiated. Completion time 14 minutes. Oh, I'm assuming Longfellow is going to go back to Hangman's Alley. Who knows what other sick projects the Institute's working on? Whoa, Black Betty, bang bang! Whoa, Black Betty, bang bang! Black Betty and a child, bang bang! Then thing come by, bang bang! So, I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. How much has Maxon told you about it? He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. We've been trying to keep it under wraps until the time was right. Oh. Come on, it's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, and I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new creature comes in. Uh, oh, excuse me. This storage bay full of parts is what's left of the Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. I've spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence. Because this is not going to be easy. 
Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's gonna take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. And the first problem is his CPU. It's fragile, and every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Why is the power blowing out his CPU? Liberty Prime has a highly complex power system. A good deal of that system was damaged when he exploded. So I'm working in the dark, trying to come up with parts on my own. Luckily, you were able to convince Dr. Madison Lee to return to the Brotherhood. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with uh -huh. this power system, we can get the big guy moving. <sighs> I gotta go back up to come back down. So many bloody load screens. Attention all Brotherhood soldiers. If you have not yet received your Squire mentorship assignment, please come see me on the bridge. My duty shift was long. But I'm Repeat, if you have not received Excuse your me, mentorship Dr. assignment, Lee? whatever it is, it'll have to wait. That is all. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. I need to talk to you. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Charging into a situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. Never expected Dr. Lee would return to the Brotherhood. But you're not here to discuss history, are you? Are there documents you wanted to turn in? Or were you here to help with a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. These aren't technical documents. I don't have time for games, soldier. Oh, okay. Come back when you've decided that. to take your duties more seriously. Please talk to me. Dr. Lee, whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Screw you then, bitch. You think the Commonwealth looks bad? You should see the Commonwealth. And sleep through to the morning. Stop. Attention. Due to increased radar activity, all leave requests to off base sites have been temporarily suspended. Affected parties will have their leave compensated at the next available opportunity. That is all. When I get off duty, that Doctor, sounds very stable. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Well, we're not doing anything with the Brotherhood then. Screw her. Actually, where's Maxin? Have you ever fired a minigun? Choose through ferals like paper. Elder. I'm eagerly awaiting Liberty Prime's completion, Knight. Return to your duties. Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you, the Institute will face it back. If Can't you're right here now. to take the Liberty Prime, Liberty Prime you can forget it. 
one of us is a liar, then it isn't me. Oh, don't try and pin that nonsense on me. I said I'd come back to the Brotherhood, and I have. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? If not for the Brotherhood, do it for Dr. Virgil. What they did to Dr. Virgil was cruel. It was wrong. How could I be so blind? You really know how to push my buttons, don't you? Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes <laughs> ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. <sighs> there we go, go back downstairs. There are days I miss being out in the field. Usually during lunch and stuff. See if he'll say anything. Please continue assisting Proctor mm. Ingram in any way that you can. Well, I'll copy off to try and... She is really annoying. She really does my head in. Quick, how much you get changed? Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Well, things are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Hmm, charming, isn't she? Maybe I should teach her some manners. That's not necessary. She isn't going to be much good to us if she's lying in a hospital bed. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're going to have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's <laughs> Prime's new lens are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head Speak out to you later if you come back on. Magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. I know how but many I need. Right, where is... Medford. Built before. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, uh, let's attend a thingy meeting. It's so bright. Your presence here is a great gift, not just to father.
Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Well, it's important. Actually, I want to sleep. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. Just in case. I'm indifferent on the railroad. Reporting Are status. He didn't show up for duty today. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. Oh, cock. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes, um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity also, around Fort Independence. Don't, don't mind them, no immediate but... Signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Excuse me, but sir, are you sure this is, well, the proper time to be discussing that? Considering, I mean, given all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I have no idea what that is. I'll admit I'm relieved. It's intended to be something of a classified project, which I'm sure means everyone already knows about it. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, oh, but so no nice. longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Whoa. Nuclear power? That's a disaster waiting to happen. Not in our hands. I assure you this is the answer. This is the future. The reactor is close to ready. But recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three. And to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. No! You can't please, be serious! Everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. 
a very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I don't know if I'm right for this. Well, I clearly have faith in you. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in. Uh, is this mass fusion? There are hard decisions ahead for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Please. Cock. Right, as long as we don't speak to Ali. As long as we don't speak to her, we should be able to hopefully carry on with getting Prime done. Because hopefully then that will lead, lead us into a Blind Betrayal. Miss this bloody thing. If you need something, I'm all over it. This place is still largely standing. We heading out? I just need to trade some things with you. Sure thing.
Uh. No, don't pinch my weapons again. Uh, my favorite meat shield. Uh. Where's... So, you ready to get no. the show on? The... Where's Dan's gone? Yeah, yeah, but but here. Yes, me darling. Get him away! What's happening, Naka? Move! Please, let me see and scan as many indigenous life forms as possible. It is, of course, for science. Puny human needs strong. Now, puny human wants to find dance. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of cats. There you are. I feel better knowing you have my back. Paladin. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Ready. Roger that. You'd build high walls too if you have neighbors like these. <laughs> I got three doggies here. I do need to send a settler here to tend the ball. Oh, we'll head up to. But I couldn't do that again. Come on. Oh, balls, I pressed the wrong button. No! Looking for me to the top of the lamppost. What you mean? There is that side door is chained from the like from the inside to start with. Like the main opens on the road next to the river. I always block that off. 
So if anyone's going to attack, they have to come in from those, from either side. Hello. Doesn't always work though. Because that fairly open bit that I'll block off. Uh, it's not too bad now. Still hurts a bit, but I'll live. Everything dead. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. Oh, they don't wait. I want to trade a few things. Okay. I fractured my hands uh, a while ago. Was I going to do anything else here? Honestly, can't remember. No! Oh, no, I don't need to do that, do I? I hope this has something to do with our mission. I wish there was a way you could just like save a like a preset so you could just quickly build another one.
I could send one to Bunker Hill. Let's just send it to Bunker Hill. Come here. Just sleep and we can work our way over to the hospital. Do want to get some displays up soon. Get power armor displays up. No, you're not. Just go away. Oh, it is. Haven't you done enough to torment me already? <laughs> some be a miserable cow, then, should you, Jezebel? Back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. Your actual. Too many miles on the road. At least the pay is terrible. Who are you meant to be protecting? Because I can't see no one. Safety's off. was a suicider. Pistol at the ready. Proceed carefully. These fortifications may still be inhabited. 
I can smell you out there, little sneak. Oh, we may have a problem. No, but I can try. False alarm. I heard something. Good work. Don't leave anything behind. So much death and destruction. We got this. If you say so. Oh, she knows. Uh, it's demolition expert rank two, I think. I'll have a look in a second. Got it. Yes, rank two of demolition experts.
Alright, we're in. Okay, let's turn it off. Where was the suicide? Where did he end up flying off to? No idea. Oh, I'll make a coffee in a minute. Oh, I nearly pulled a gun on you then. Is someone present? Look at both of them. Oh, God's sake. a ball right let's see if there's any baddies around here Being in the open like this is too irresponsible. I'm not going to make this easy for you. I got you down. Over there. <laughs> lots and lots of killing. That's the only reason. And high intelligence. Uh, my intelligence is... I'm oh, sorry, 10.
Plus everything I uh, fight at the moment now is quite a high level too. Where was the other one? Oh, I don't know. Let's get back to the airport. Hmm. I'm missing out on the fun. Oh, I've got no grenades left. Let's get over to the freight wheel. Then I'm going to go. Oh, take it's taken a fair amount of time though. Not every day. I don't really play on a Wednesday, Thursday or a Friday. Right, is he still with me at the moment? Yes. I do play a lot, but as I say, it's not every day. Oh, we're going to make the thing is over now. Right, before we speak to Ingram, oh, um, probably getting on for about 130 hours, something like that. 
Uh, right, I'm going to go make a coffee. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back. You sure, man? Can't believe that yeah. Dr. Lee's returned to the Brotherhood. I thought she was a traitor. Proctor Ingram? That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. <laughs> I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating. I know the song, I can't think of the name of it. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. 
The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four Fat Man shells. Basically, Nothing whatever it hits is a good number. His eye laser is almost ready to go. Nothing but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. I'll run down to the Super Duper Mart and pick some up. Hmm, cute. I wish it was that simple. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now. But we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. Oh no, not again. Yep. You better stock back up on the anti-radiation gear. Scribe Halen's established a communication Go do this the and then the we'll get sea. blown betrayal. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Uh, we've got to go all the way to there. Well, there first, and then there. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. To be frank, I don't agree with Father's decision, but I'll accept it. Uh, let's head to Sailor's and pay Vault 81 a visit. Greetings, Knight. Can't see a thing. Yeah. Focused and far too charitable for their own good. I'm going to quickly set up a radio beacon.
and we'll build better beds. There's another bed somewhere. Out there. If we put all the crafting stuff in there, I'll upgrade that to a better one. leads to the yeah. So I'm not too fussed with shops here. No, it is.
Not a hundred percent sure, to be honest. this there's someone else somewhere I just don't know where they are If we go in Oh, 
I want to connect to this one up. So I'm going to check out 81. Because it's been a while. Don't know if it would have the same impact. And if I do... This is the door I want to go in. Is 
<laughs> oh, excuse me. It's a good job the rad scorpions don't come back, isn't it? Can't say that it has. should know. People have been complaining a bit about the bed situation. Huh? Hey. How many people are here? Oh. Come on. It's got to pay off sometime. We're going to have to build some more stuff. Yes, Clem, it is rigged. Oh no, there is three beds in each one. That's my bed. Um. Thank you. Is that because the lights are in the way? No. I don't think many people would watch it though, to be honest. What? Is this damn thing rigged? My luck. You gotta turn around. Uh... Come on. It's gotta pay out sometime. Thank you. See, that's all you had to do. We actually we can 
scrap that. Yes, it's rigged. Uh, the door's on the left hand side. I'll just connect. Ah, oh, there we go. I was using the wrong thing, that's why. I don't that's right. Because that's what I want to put there. That will go in just nicely. Yay! We got it. That won't go there, will it? Oh. Why do you have to be a pain? Fit there, you bastard. Will I be able to do it this way?
Yes, it's rigged. Get over it. Come on. It's got to pay out sometime. Uh, no, it's not that one. Come on. Come on, gotta pay out <sighs> Rooms. What? Is this damn thing rigged? Yes, how many more times do I need to tell you? Right. Hmm, there's light seeping in there for some reason. Yes, that machine is completely rigged. Oh. 
for the last one. Yes. Uh, <sighs> Alright, I do believe if we just put all of the beds in, that should be everything here done, so I've got nothing else to complain about. Oh no, they've got no reason to complain. Oh, maybe about safety. No, it just means I can jump down. Alright, there's 16 people unemployed. Huh? Yes. 
Yes. Hi. Yes. How are you? Yes. Shut up! Huh? Well, I think we're going to have to extend this out a little bit. <laughs> Dan, you're not going to get through that way, are you? No, that's a break the face the wrong way. Do I want no keep that there? I don't think anything can spawn up in these, can it? just to be on the safe side. Don't be a bitch.
Where's the gate? One piece is a gate. There it is. Here we go. My luck's gonna turn around. Do I have one of those thingies in here? Yes. Huh? Huh? Yes. 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 Shut up! Yeah. You sign them all to farm in. Got it. Gave me working at my pissy way. terminals down here so I'm gonna keep going all the way up. Actually I should yeah I can build on here. Oh shiza Just oh, Jesus Christ. Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. Good, well done, Clem. Huh? That's my bed. Do anything on this? No. Yes. Yeah. Come on, it's got to pay out sometime. Oh, it's nice to see your hard work. Paying off. Uh, this is agility. And strength. Strength is at 12, and my agility is up to 13. Hi, how are you? Uh, weapons. Yeah? Actually, before I do that, I want... Where did I put all my thingies? Huh? Shoot! 
Ooh, easy 2,000 bottle caps. Ah, that's where I put all the other writing past around. Oh, I don't need to uh, buy anything then, do I? Is there anything... Eighty volt, eighty eight jumpsuits. Hmm. I could put everyone in a volt suit. Yes. <clears throat> you look like someone that needs a drink. I just want to trade a few things. Okay. Get you a drink. Just looking to trade a little. Sure. Could I not take the hat off you? Hey, what can I get you? I just need to trade gear with you. Of course. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 Shut up. Yeah. I'll do well. Promise. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. I need some supplies. No. Doctor. I suppose I could spare some stim packs. That's not what I wanted. Hey, I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. Mm. Gonna pass. Let me know if that changes. Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. Yes. Hey. I think I've got something in your size. Let's trade. Go ahead. I'm sure I've got something you need. Can we trade a few things? Sure thing. Why have we got mute food? You don't need mute food. Oh shit. Yes? Excuse me. I'm sure I've got something you need. Just looking to trade a little. Okay. Take your money, you don't need it. Huh? <clears throat> you want to do some trading? I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. Right, I'm going to leave everything else. All the others. Yes. So I can't be asked. I'll leave these here as well.
Ooh. Oh, actually, I do want to leave these. Private corporations like I should have got some signal grenades. Bollocks, 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 bollocks. I don't think we're alone. Think you can hide? We've got company. I don't think you're alone. Fine. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? You never know what you'll find. all of them dead. I forgot I didn't come in this way. Right, let's go loot all the corpses. Not gonna bother with the one over there. Like yourself, dance. Right. <laughs> it's 
the way it goes. They say time flies when you're having fun. Oh, let's just go and have a look, see how these lot are doing. Is there enough food? Yeah, because there's only 14 people here. I don't know what triggered that. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one I always follow through with the offensive messages, isn't it? Broke both my arms. Not just sentry bots, though, they're annihilator sentry bots. Pretty sure. Can I still move? Yes, I can still move.
So I said earlier, uh, I've got about 130 hours or so in this playthrough. And I'm probably about halfway through the main story. Got over twelve hundred in altogether. Oh shit! Uh. Right. I think that's still empty. again night you've come a long way since you stumbled in the Cambridge police station thanks Halen I assume the place is still in one piece we're doing the best that we can we've had the occasional synth attack but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us thanks to the reinforcements and the air support I'd say that site was secure what about those feral ghouls are they still a problem with a vertebrate at our disposal not a chance Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Right. If I survive, you mean? Don't worry. I've taken care of everything. Look. I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. All right, here we go. Let's pop some Radix. I really should have got some more water. And you do have a uh, rank for a chemist. There should have been, and I should have been clever enough to bring some uh, signal grenades, but I'm not, so I didn't. It's not too bad, the glowing sea. Take the pencil. And this is what I need to keep an eye on. When I'm
Yeah, I'm, at, I'm over five hours in. Ooh, I didn't discover some place. Oh, is this a crash bird? bird? Over five days into mine. Does he not say when you get to? Go to uh, load a save. If anything will have respawned. I gotta make my way back out of here now. All on my own. Can I? Because I have been all down here. This facility is more than just bomb disposal. It's been converted into a launching silo as well. Oh, it just brings you down to air. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> it, it doesn't tell you. I, that's how I'm, I only ever played it on PC, so that's what I'm going off. down last time this was all blocked off hey state your purpose stranger you walk on atoms hallowed ground it's all right brother I'm a child of Adam too I'm part of a church up north the nucleus near a town called Far Harbor Far Harbor You've seen Adam's Holy Veil, vale, but you have traveled so far. I apologize. I will not keep you from finishing your pilgrimage. Take this and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Adam's radiance warm your soul. Can I...
Mhm. May Atom guide you, sister. Geiger's going crazy with that suit. Paladin Mark Dance. 28 nuclear bombs. Liberty Prime's weapon of choice. Now that this... I'll meet you aboard the Pridwin as soon as these bombs are counted, tested, and loaded. Doesn't look like the glowing one's on there. But I'm going to be prepared. Nope. And so I've already come through here and cleared it all out. Take some more uh, radix. Take right away. Got no coffee left. I can go that way because there's food. Where am I on the map? I'm just inside the border now. <gasps> well, excuse me. You did this the other day and I can't remember what it is.
I can't remember what it is. Could be do we putting that some hurts. putting some support so yes. if you work you eat it's as simple as that Ugh. Not much. It's Out here, you got to take things one day at a time. Lost track of how many blisters I got. Well, uh, there should be some water. Two thousand caps. I don't mind if I do. That's where that sentry bot was, wasn't it? So that's the automatoy's place. He just cleared all you out. Where'd that little bitch go? I'm still here, don't worry. <laughs> That's it. No, say some more bad eggs. Can't be asked. It's going to get to the print win. Oh, well, I'm not 
Let's go with this place. Hey. Nice way of being uh, diplomatic and impartial. Someone else over there. the other one. There you are.
Right, before we talk to her, I'm going to go and make coffee, so I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I'm back. Alright. Ingram? Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. 
it's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep the system stable are gonna hold. I have full confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. I Proctor, don't. all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. Liberty Prime, back online. Let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module. Online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark II. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning, nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. I've got green lights across the board here. It's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Proctor Ingram. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. With him on our side, I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. You didn't have to do that, Ingram. Oh, come on. You earned the damn thing. Besides, Liberty Prime isn't about to run out and get you a gift. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Hey, blind betrayal. Have you ever done the Brotherhood ending once? Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I find your ignorance awfully convenient. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the scents on that list. Is Quinlan absolutely certain? Proctor Quinlan validated the information numerous times. I can assure you, his results are accurate. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a scent they called M797. To make matters worse, He's gone AWOL. Disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 
and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you, and then swore you to secrecy. After everything I've done for the Brotherhood, you have some nerve accusing me of lying. Hmm. Your outburst leads me to believe I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, if you if you start you mass duty, fusion, dance is a sin. You, he represents everything we hate. I'm you can't talk to technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations about this. need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. I won't do it. Dance deserves a chance to explain himself. You will do it. This is not up for judgment or debate. I'm giving you a direct order, Knight, and I expect you to follow it without question. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. So if you do mass fusion with the Institute before you got Liberty Prime up and running, you can't do blind betrayal, Attention. I don't think. This is a notice to all personnel. Please think of your brothers and sisters down oh, below. Knight, I was told you were coming. Thoroughly secure all Sorry gear while on the flight deck. Dance. Thank, you. Thank you. What do you know about the situation? While I was decrypting all of the data you acquired from within the Institute, I came across a list. It appears that the Institute keeps exemplary records where their synths are concerned, including logging those that were reported missing. As I was perusing this list, I came across an image of Dance under the heading M797. A quick DNA comparison with our own records told the rest of the tale. I'm certain this comes as quite a shock to you, Knight. I'm sorry. I don't need apologies. I need to know where he is. Yes, you're quite right. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports and, unfortunately... I haven't found any concrete information. As oh, you're well aware, Effort. Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a <clears throat> synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? <laughs> How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear no that we're going to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. I don't have time to discuss it right now, Halen. Why? In too much of a rush to pull the trigger? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show her the respect that she's due, or so help me I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, and also, I have played a lot of it though in that time. I suggest you return to the police station immediately. So... Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertebird gunship's computer. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, ma'am. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, ma'am.
just walking around in just leather armor. Kaelin? Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I... <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. <laughs> I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration. My respect. And my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. That's a bold statement. It's more than just a statement. It's a plea. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you. Not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now, mm. or if he trusts any oh, no. of us at all. Still can't believe Dance was really a synth. Goddamn traitor. Oh, before I do. Have you collected any blood samples, Knight? Yes. Here you go. I never thought I'd be so happy to see tiny vials of blood. Thank you. Here's some caps for the trouble. Pretty like this rust bucket. Oh, sure. Attention all personnel. Research patrols are... Why are you still aboard the Pritwin? I want Dance executed. Immediately! Elder Maxon? Why are you still aboard the Pritwin? Yeah. I want Dance executed. Immediately! You'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay alive. All right, let's make our way up there.
Oh, I should have got myself healed. Healed up. What have I got wrong with me? Oh, lethargy's not too bad. If we do this, save him from being uh, executed. Right, let's take... Um It's because you've got something tagged for a search, which I think is, uh, I've got leather tagged, yeah, and I haven't bothered to uh, untag it yet. What's up with my in <laughs> down to three? <laughs> Bloody hell, minus that's low. <laughs>
I don't think I've got anything to boost uh, charisma. What is it at the moment? Oh, it's 12. Should be alright. The first time I did Blind Betrayal I had Dance as a companion and just taken everything off him and then when I come to, to do this he was just in his underpants uh, that I'm not sure You might be able to get some more offer, but I'm not 100% sure. Do, 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 do. Hey there. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I don't understand what's going on, Dance. Believe me, this is more of a shock to me than it is to you. I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends, and this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. <coughs> Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example. 
not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. Oh, but I have my me. own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Do I want to just be on the safe side and take the great men plants? I think I will. This is why I should always keep Agatha's dress with me. Betray the Brotherhood. It's not her fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this... this thing not been destroyed? He's not a thing. He's one of your best men. Have you taken leave of your senses? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about me? You're the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. Oh, that's all right, then. They called it a new frontier and pushed well, the envelope, 17, completely now. disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. You're comparing dance to a nuclear bomb. This machine might not be a bomb, but its goal is exactly the same. Place it where you want the damage done, and when you least expect it, it delivers a lethal blow without warning and without mercy. A precision strike delivered right at the heart of the enemy. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory, and some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust. 
and I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute Dance, or I will, Knight. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I've made, and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. Whether he's human or not, Dance saved the lives of countless Brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn woman. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, no, you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of her. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. <clears throat> it took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. Friends take care of each other. No matter what. That they do. Which is why I've decided to stay here. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post. But it will have to do. Besides, you're still gonna need my help. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Fridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. What about Halen? I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. It's the least I could do. Are you gonna have a problem killing synths? I might physically be a synth, but my heart and mind belong to the Brotherhood. The Institute is still a tremendous threat to the Commonwealth. They possess technologies that need to be confiscated or destroyed. I promise you, I won't hesitate to pull the trigger on them. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. Okay, let's say don't good night. I'm coming in from the side, aren't I? Alright, let's get back to County Crossing. <laughs> Seventeen charisma. Theoretically, I should be able to get more people. Uh, these places now.
Weakness is a bitch. I will speak to Maxim. So I think that will kick off. Or finish Blind Betrayal and kick off Max Mass Fusion for the Brotherhood. And if it does, I'm going to do it with the Institute. Christmas at 12, so I've got the glasses on and this helmet, isn't it? Okay there, sir. I want whatever he's taking. Reporting is ordered, Elder. Before we continue, I want to make one thing clear. This conversation will be the last time we speak about Dance. As far as the Brotherhood of Steel is concerned, he's dead. Do you understand? Of course. The Brotherhood must come first. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Of course. Dance's execution <coughs> creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad no. Victorium, Paladin. The railroad. I will do this. I have a situation I need to report. All right, I'm listening. Never mind. I can wait. If you say so. I have a situation no. I need to report. Try to filter All right, it out. I'm listening. Never mind. If you say so. Captain Kells. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat, the railroad. 
They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Why is the railroad such a threat? Even with their relatively small numbers, the railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against superior forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, I am. they possess the capability to help synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on Pam's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put Pam's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. I'll try to get it back here in one piece. Good. It'd be a hell of a waste if you didn't. I'm certain you'll do whatever it takes to complete the mission. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Add Victorium, Paladin. I have another assignment for you, Paladin. Virgil. Paladin? If you're no good at hacking Pam's systems, you should take someone with you who can. Excuse me, Captain Kells? Virgil remains a threat. It's time we dealt with him. He helped us before. We can't just betray him. We don't owe him anything. What he did, he did for his own reasons. He served his purpose. Now he's just another monster. The damn dangerous one. Hello. Right. One super mutant? This Virgil once led the Institute's biomedical research. He experimented with FEV. He tested it on human subjects. How many super mutants did he create? How many lives have been lost because of his hubris? No. He and his work are a threat. They must be destroyed. What's the plan? Better to keep this simple. He trusts you. Go alone, and he may let his guard down. Get in, get the job done, and get out. That's what I was going to do. Is to. I have other duties to attend to, Captain. Very well. Carry on, Paladin. Uh, I'll stay right away. Oh, it wouldn't if he fell to his death. Oh, you could have restocked these. Lazy gits. I can't believe super mutants were human ones. Be good if I could go in through the, the secret back entrance.
Now this means that as soon as I go back to Hangman's Alley, Deacon is going to open fire on us. Unless he's come back here. Sorry, Doc. I need some cover. Suppressing fire. Area secure. Keep your heads down. I have corpses to loot first. Detonation pack secured and ready, sir. Yeah, Deacon must be here. He was he did sound very scared. What just happened? Oh, 
What the? Now. It's only you killed him. Die. I said I don't need that because I've already got one. Ham. Factory reset mode enabled. Command mode available. Full system reset accepted. Awaiting instructions. Ready for programming instructions. Recommend interface type RJ11G. No. I've got to come in this way. Alright, I think before we head back I wanna I wanna give that serum to Virgil. I do want to see if that brings up another him with me. Actually no. Not yet.
If I can find them signal grenades, I'll use a vertibird. Getting a bit laggy. Yeah. Do you need some? Ha <laughs> ha. Excuse me, doggy. Actually, I can. Get another one in here. Do you need something, Madame? Buy me what a little rain, wind, and weed will do to a place. Oh, McCready, you're sleeping out in the rain. Where's the long fellow? Unless he's in this bed. Oh. 
come on. Well, look at you. I, I must hope we are not mad. This is common in urban environments. Right, this is running a bit crap, so I'm going to quickly restart the game. And while it loads up, I'm going to go and make a coffee. So I'll be back in a moment. for the kettle to boil. Five days, 18 hours. Oh, that's a long time. This place is still largely standing. I hope we are not mugged. This is common in urban environments. Right. Uh, Longfellow. We heading out? I just need to trade some things with you. Sure thing. Oh, did I already take it off him? Hey there. We heading out? That's right. Let's get going. After you, then. Nope, wrong thing. It used to be a real beautiful city. No 
ain't got a hope in hell. Where you landed? On my head. Thank you. Penis. God, such a child. I just thought I haven't taken any radix, have I? Where's the factory? There, that's it. Welcome back. Taxi look nice. When there's no radiation. Now the radiation is kicking in. Setting her down at the target location. I hear Connor singing loud. There's completely vaporize you. Did you expect it to? No, of course not. It was far more likely that it would just blow up. But it didn't. You made it in. 
Were you able to find the serum? I've got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Thanks, Doc. Density I gradient have... is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. Has the, uh, <clears throat> reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes, yes, it has. Fascinating. No. Oh, did you mean that as a joke? Uh, well, it's time. There's only one way to test it. Is there a... Oh, there is a seat. All right. Here we go. How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. I'm going to see if I can wait a couple of days. without, you know, starving to death. Oh, I'm out of water now. Protect and serve. I'm going to get some rest. Do I have anything I can drink? No. Shit. Come on, land!
Right. I'm not gonna go there. What have I got reporting for? Oh, to tell him it's done. I can try. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. It's not on there. I actually can't remember what it was called. Excuse me. It's not in there, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know if you'll let me open this at the moment. No, it's not that one. Let me have another look.
I think this is it. I think that's it. Not hundred percent sure because it's. Oh, I need to say where I want to go, don't I? I want to head back there. Glad to have you aboard, ma'am. So I can get some more walk, huh? Your weapon is locked and loaded. Good hunting. And I say it's been such a long time since I downloaded it, I can't actually remember the name. That's the only mod I use, really. That and the unofficial patch. Just because the load times can take so long. Not a problem. As I say, I think it's that one. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I tried.
Everyone's pinching my good bloody weapons. Uh, am I okay for food for a bit? Yes. Possibly. I wouldn't put it past myself. It wouldn't be the first time I've killed one of my settlers or a dog or something by accident. Mm. Right, pictures. God doesn't say. Excuse me. I trusted you once. Never again. Oh, Preston, stop being a baby. Actually, I'm just going to wait here for a few days. Until we get the uh, pop up. We can go see Virgil again. Oh, my leggies! Good morning, my love. Oh, I'm miles away from there. Oh, check on Virgil. If I get two more uh, signal grenades, we'll go down to Virgil. Uh, we'll go to the construction site.
Nautilus. Probably, what to probably do with beefing up their defenses as well. Your minigun should be loaded and ready to fire. Good shooting, ma'am. Oh. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? Chance for keep blowing up cars while in a vertebrate. Did I just kill you? I'm ever so sorry. Where the hell did you get a minigun from? Are you broken? That could be why. Oh, some scrap that. Uh, where's the thing? It's in here, isn't it?
Not too far to get to his cave from here. But who knows? I can go that way if I want to go that way. You're not going to boss me. in a minute. Actually, since I'm running you through here, I'm going to go check out that bloody um, broken, destroyed um, factory. Company. Fog, take them all. That's all you think about. You're just a drunken old man. Take me down to the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Before I forget,
Ain't much light to go by. <gasps> Beds. Uh, I don't really get time to because I'm usually just playing myself. Many a true nerd. Been watching his Taylor Two Wastelands playthrough. Oh, I need to set ready. So again.
stop for a drink, yeah? No. Chewing through ammo. I have better exercise, man. Oh, come on. Not a lot, unfortunately. Come on, ten mil. Choose through ammo. Sweet. Oh, perfect. Collecting antiques, are you? You got a problem with that? Now, does this lead you back outside? Or is this where I came in? This isn't where I came in. Bye. <laughs> Thought this would be easy, did you? Ah, take them all.
Mm-hmm. Radiated water. Then we'll get a university bird to the Bridwin. Oh, let's um, go to this bloke. seeking Adam are welcome. Or is it something more tangible you require? I'll take a look. Sure. Very well. I don't need 50 car rounds. Yo, cannonballs! Hey, have you got a supply of cannonballs? Do you have any water? Perfect. The Great Divide comes.
Cool. I think we're okay for a minute. Virgil. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is incredible. It is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of FED. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. Welcome to make use of my lab. Or smell that. Help yourself to Something anything. must be rotten around you. Want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. Yeah, water, water. Protect and serve. Ooh. Better to build what you need than pay someone else. Can you keep everything else? Ooh. Protect and serve. I've got loads of stuff to give to Strong. When I finally decide to have him as a companion. I will eventually. Uh, oh, excuse me. Come on, I can see you coming through the fog. Come on, former Radix wears off. No, I don't stream when I have my kids here. I I have them when from Wednesday until Saturday afternoon. 
which is why I don't stream Wednesday night, Thursday night and Friday night. So that's the reason why I don't stream those nights because I have the kids here with me. Excuse me. No, no, I don't mind at all. <laughs> oh, getting tired now, though. That's why I stream all day on a Sunday, because uh, I've got nothing else to do. A couple of suicides have just blown themselves up from the sounds of it. I don't mind just getting random XP. Cause me to blow up. I think that's how that's meant to work, in all honesty. Looks like it's good landing spot. I'll have you on the ground shortly. No, you won't. Fallen to the ground. The Institute their technological. I have a situation I need to report. All right, I'm listening. No. Never mind. I can wait. If you say so. Captain. Well. It appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. What's going to happen to their headquarters? The location doesn't hold tactical significance, so we'll simply post a small squad there, in case any stragglers choose to return. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Excuse me, Captain Kells. 
Virgil remains a threat. It's time we dealt with him. Virgil is no longer a super mutant. His cure worked. He's no threat to us. What? That... that thing actually found a cure? Hmm. He can't be trusted. But as a human, he's trapped in the glowing sea. Maybe he can still be an asset to us. All right. We'll continue to monitor him. For now. For your service, allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. Hmm. Nice. You've earned my respect, Paladin. Not many can say that. Carry on. Ad Victorium. Alright, let's go and speak to... Well, you look like you've been through oh, the ringer, Paladin. Can't say that I blame you. That was a hell of a business with Dance. Can't even imagine having to look him in the face and pull the trigger. Honestly, I'd prefer not to talk about it. I hear you loud and clear, Paladin. Anyway, we need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. Wait. How can the beryllium agitator start up his reactor? If Prime's reactor is a campfire, the beryllium agitator is like a match. Strike it, throw it on the logs, and the whole thing ignites. Fusion reactors need a massive power surge in order to get the reaction started. Once it starts, it's self-sustaining. I'm sure I could get one of my scribes to bore you to death with the details, but you get the gist. Turning out to be quite a grocery list to get that hunk of junk running. Hey. I was handed a crate full of burned out spare parts with no blueprints, and I still managed to get the big guy put back together. If we find this last piece, I promise you he'll be combat ready in a matter of hours. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor, dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the financial district. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. Well, yeah, it would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Kells has a vertebrate on standby, waiting to drop us off on the roof of the Mass Fusion Tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the agitator's there, They'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands. Right. Internal monitoring active. Looks quiet. All right. I'm going to. Oh. Vertebrate docking systems and fusion coolant feed systems reporting green. Hopefully, I can. I don't work. Hot shots and big mouths end up with closed casket funerals. Uh, because both my kids have autism. And it's quite difficult for me to find a job uh, that would be willing to let me leave at a moment's notice. Uh, Sometimes. Quentin is really mean to me, but... My mom says I have to be nice anyway. Let's do this. And then... I'll probably call it a day. In all my years, I've never seen anything like this. The sheer impertinence of it. What's going on? Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken have decided to protest your appointment as father's successor. 
They've taken control of the bioscience security systems and cut off our food supply. Have they made any demands? Not yet, but I expect they'll demand that you renounce all ties to the Institute. Maybe I can reason with them. I believe I can help with that. I can unlock the maintenance tunnel that leads to the bioscience observation room. From there, you should be able to communicate with Higgs and Logan. If you can't reason with them, you can use this holotape to access the command functions on the observation room terminal. That should give you some options. Just please, try to talk to them first. Use violence only as a last resort. Here we are. And I don't make Just any money from this. I need to get to a thousand subscribers. I thought I heard something. Made it past the guards, hmm? Impressive. Dr. Higgs. If you've come to change our minds, then you're wasting your time. Can we talk about this? Father chose not to talk to the Directorate before anointing you his successor. So how about I follow his fine example? Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. How could you hope to lead us when you hardly know anything about what we do? I'm sure you mean well, but you must see that it's an impossible task. I'm under no illusion that this will be easy. Your determination is admirable, if misguided. The truth is simply this. You have no idea what it means to be the director of the Institute. Can't you at least... Give me a chance. A chance? Hmm. What do you think, Max? Even the most fastidious researcher will sometimes take a leap of faith. I say let's give it a try. Very well, then. Open the door and let's return to the fold. Since abort command override and resume normal function. You gonna open the door? There's a thingy box up here. Yes. Scanning. Subject identified. I honestly thought Dr. Lee. Bravo. I admit I was fearing for the worst, but I can see that I underestimated you. I'm just glad they listened to reason. <laughs> Indeed. There is one further matter to discuss. Obviously, some kind of disciplinary action must be taken here. The question of what form it takes is up to you. Put them on probation. Limit their access to quarters and non-working areas. That's more than fair. I'll see to it that everyone's notified. I'll take that holotape back. I also wanted to offer you something as a more personal expression of gratitude. I know that your work often takes you to the surface where supplies are scarce. 
I gathered these items together for you. I think you'll find them useful. Uh, I want to see if I can get some of this stuff done. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Nothing to report, ma'am. Where's... Humanity's future is taking root right here. Rosalind is as smart as she is beautiful. I just wish I could get her to notice me. Hey. Dr. Watson doesn't think I'm institute material. Dr. Carlin? I'm gonna prove him I wrong. I hope that when the time comes, you'll take your responsibilities as director seriously. <sighs> Liam's been trying to teach me robotics. Clayton. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to conduct an experiment, but I need some assistance with it. I believe we can improve the growth rates of our crops by using mutated cells, such as those found in super mutants. To test this about? theory, the I'll need a tissue sample from a particularly strong story. super mutant. I expect I'll eventually need several such samples, but let's just purpose. start with one. I still don't see their purpose. Uh, you need a tissue sample from a strong super mutant. Got it. That's right. We'll see. Now remember, only a particularly hardy super mutant will fit the bill for this experiment. I don't need it right away, but if you do come across such a specimen, I'd be grateful if you could bring back a sample. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Director Holdren seems very taken with you. Dr. Carlin? I'm sorry, but I'm too preoccupied for chit-chat. Who's the one who gives you the stuff? <clears throat> well, you're gonna have to work pretty hard to impress anyone down here. Alright, does it say? It just says, I've like something. Hi. From what I hear, presence. that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Yeah, I it. All systems nominal. The directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. X688 sounded very impressed with your work at Libertalia. He doesn't give praise lightly. Well done. Dr. Ayo. If you're going to be in Diamond City anytime soon, I have a favor to ask of you. You might not be aware of it, but the city's mayor is a synth, an institute plant. He monitors developments in the Commonwealth and compiles reports on matters of possible interest to us. Since you visit the surface more than anyone else down here, I figured you could pick up the latest report. That shouldn't be a problem. Good. The mayor will be waiting in his office. He'll give you the report, and then you'll bring it back to me. Remember, discretion is vital to our operations in Diamond City. So try to keep a low profile. A successful mission on all counts, ma'am. Excuse me. Ready for the next mission, ma'am? Let's move out. Right behind you, ma'am. Nice work. Bring nice work. Rogue bringing that rogue synth back. Hi. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. We've improved security and bioscience. Now nobody can lock us out. Reporting status. All functions. I'm going to try and see if I can pick up any like miscellaneous yeah. things. Uh, yeah. Unit B-592 is undergoing the reclamation process as we speak. Well, there's always been a little 
unpredictable. I suppose his choice of a successor shouldn't surprise me. Excuse me, Doctor. The future you make a lot of, of trips to the surface, right? right? Maybe you can help me out with something. The Brotherhood of Steel has developed some impressive technology, and I think we could learn some things from them. The best place to start would be to study their design schematics, assuming you can get your hands on some. Where can I find these schematics? You probably keep them in a safe place, like a chest, a locker. I'd expect guards as well. Sure, I can do that. Great! We've got a lead on a small Brotherhood salvage team. That's a good place to start. Hmm. So, some of these I haven't done before. I wanted to compliment you on your handling of the situation in bioscience. Bravo. Higgs and Loken are lucky to be alive. Not everyone. You showed a lot of leniency, Dr. Higgs and Dr. Logan. Hi, Doc. Ah, hello. If I may take a moment of your time, we're having some trouble on the surface. There's a den of those abominable feral ghouls that's been threatening one of our scavenger teams. We've had to recall the synth scavengers until the situation can be dealt with. Hopefully by you. I'll take care of those feral ghouls for you. I'm very grateful for your help. I have no first-hand experience with these creatures, of course, but I've heard that they can be quite vicious. They are also quite territorial, so you should prepare for a fight. Good luck. So much research. So good. Remember to conserve power at every opportunity. I think what I'm going to do is remember where my bed is. <sighs> Which I can never remember. Father's a great man. You must be very proud. Uh, Good evening. Well, you've certainly riled things up. Oh, uh, let's speak to you, actually. Dr. Fillmore. Huh. Well, you've certainly riled things up. Do I even want to know how you found out about mass fusion from the Brotherhood? What is this beryllium agitator? Why do we care if they're after it? So that's kind of, I think, classified is the best way to describe it. It's a piece of pre-war tech that's useful in optimizing nuclear reactions. That makes sense? All right, look, I can't go into details, at least not right now, but this is important. We need to get our hands on that agitator before the Brotherhood does. So you and I are going to relay over there, grab it, and get back here before the Brotherhood knows what's happened. Okay? Well, then let's get moving. All right, sounds good. I'll meet you at the relay, and we'll head over. We're keeping Dr. Higgs and Dr. Loken under close observation. Oh, is he around this one? Operating at full capacity. Yes. Right, let's just sleep through till the morning.
Oh, excuse me. Alright. Ah, oh, hey, yeah. Up in my space. Alright. I'm gonna call it a day there. So. We're going to do those first before we go to Mass Fusion. And we'll pick those up in, well, I'll say in the morning. Tomorrow evening. So, yes, that's going to be it for this one. So, if you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you all in the next one so thank you everyone for watching and goodbye